Mike's going to be leading time of scripture prayer. And I do want to pick up on one thing. I'm going to blame it on Bud, so all that, all that talk. And all. But one thing why Jesus wept, you go back and read a little bit before that where it says Jesus wept, you'll find out we heard that our friend died. Then, then a little further on, then all of a sudden, one of the sisters wanted to say, why didn't you come a few days ago? He's been dead four days. But I like this part. And they said, roll the stone away. Come forth, Lazarus. He came forth bound. And then all of a sudden, who saw my chains are gone. Loose him. Let it free. Vera's free today, friend. She won't have to pay another tax bill or light bill. <laughs> My God, I'm about to shout. <laughs> Come on, better hush, or you'll be long with you too. <laughs> Come on, Brother Adam. God bless you. Let me say to the family, um, my only regret is that I didn't get to move. Um, just coming in, but I did talk to her a couple times on the phone, and uh, I could tell that she was a godly lady. To have conversed with her and had fellowship with her but under the circumstances, she's having great fellowship now. She's in a better place. She has gone to where we're trying to get to, and the scriptures that I want to read today kind of shares that thought of what's going to take place. But let me say to the family, if I can help you in any way, uh, feel please uh, feel uh, free to call me. Glad to do whatever that we can do. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of the sin is the law. But thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And surely today, Sister Beer's labor is not in vain. She worked for the Lord, she labored for the Lord, she left a good impression, she left a good heritage, and that's something that you can count on. The memories is what you're going to have to depend on. When you're having bad days, and you will have bad days, you will have down days, you will feel lonely, you'll want to pick up the phone and call. But just remember all the good times that you had. Think about the memories, and I know that's what will get you through. And then the good Lord, He is our shepherd. He's the great shepherd, and He's there, and He'll be with you every step of the way. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fret. And you, we all know that she is in a better place. And that's why Jesus said, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, he said, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, receive you unto myself, that where I am there you may be also. One of these days there's going to be a glad reunion. I was thinking about that old song in the old hymnal. What a glad reunion that's going to be. And we're going to have that glad reunion one day. And you'll see her again as long as you stay true to God. As long as you keep your heart in tune with God. And as you can always hear her say, make sure that your life is in tune. Make sure that you make it. Because, folks, it is coming quicker than any of us can imagine. They can think of all the things that are happening. But if you read the book of Revelation and Daniel together, you'll see that we're living in the last days. The one world currency, they're working on real hard. The mark of the beast, they're working on real hard. And it's headed up by key people. And, you know, it's just, it's going to happen because God gave us the ending. And we know. If you read the book, you know how it ends. Thank God today that Sister Vera held on to that unchanging ending. Let's pray. 
Our Heavenly Father, we're so thankful today for the life of Sister Vera Griggs. God, we thank you, Lord, for the way that she short let Jesus Christ work through her. God, the way that she allowed her life to be used to build the kingdom of God. And Father, we're so thankful, God, for the short period of time that we did have to know her. Not like a lot of others that knew her for a long time and knew her life and knew her legacy and knew Lord, the life that she really lived. Father, we're thankful today to have become acquainted with this family, and we are thankful, God, for the opportunity we've had to come and be able, God, to encourage them to keep their faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Father, in the weeks and months and years to come, God, help them to depend on you. Lord, when they're weak, when they're down, when they're going through a hard time, just encourage them, Lord, put your arms around them, and allow them, God, to know that you're right there with them. And Father, I just pray that Lord, as we continue to labor upon the face of this earth, let our light shine forth that others may see you as well as Sister Vera did. And Lord, that we can impact people. And God, that can win them to the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, now be with the family. Keep your hands upon them. And we'll give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Christ's name. Take one of them. There you go. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you got them out here. My saving man having a heart attack. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Flowers. 